G'day and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge for the 11th of September 2019. Alright, let us get to it. Got to capture three sovereign officers while not being seen. Self-charging key cloner, we're tough. We got a silencer, not being seen. Yeah, okay. So we won't be able to distract people, but that should be fine. Um, and we've even got the crash beam for if guards happen to have shields. Who are we up against? Yeah, so, yeah. So they can have shields. It's uh, foundry that tend to that don't have shields and have armor instead. Okay. Cool. This should be much simpler than yesterday. And we have alarm response here. Okay. So let's uh, get this done. Oh, come on. Alrighty, so we're gonna go down this way, we're gonna murder every single one of them, go through this room, same deal, uh, then run down, along, down. Any of you shielded? No. But we also have literally no gear. Interesting. Um, and our capture target a capture target is shielded. Huh. Well, that's super helpful. We're gonna go down this way anyway, because it's the most direct path. But it is a bit annoying. Okay, so let's see. If I go down this way... So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop down this way. Okay, deactivate. Grab this, stab you, recover a little bit, give me this, now what we want is we want to make sure we're getting uh, some, uh, some of them sweet silenced guns. It's kind of funny that like silenced is valued so highly. And yes, I am deliberately trying to use melee weapons there to go slightly faster, although the fact that it unpauses is probably not helpful. Ooh, yes. Wait. Ha! Huh. So this is a really rare situation. They are on an errand. Evidently, for some reason, it's faster to go this way to get to wherever they're headed. Maybe to here? Let me try and work that out. So if they were here, and then that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rooms, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I, st I don't get how it possibly anywhere in here could possibly be that, but that's the only kind of explanation I've heard of that makes sense as to. Okay, yep. Yeah. So we're gonna. Oh, right, no, they're not going through there. They're just. It happens to be slightly faster. Okay, give me this. Okay, give me this. Okay, great. This means that we... Even have a convenient way of setting that alarm off. Yeah. Although, actually, that's not as well-timed as I'd like. But it'll do. Okay, so we run through here. We're gonna stab this guy. Move slightly faster as a result. Ah, uh, so you do patrol, eh? Interesting. So, this is capture. Okay. Good to know. You, I do not need to capture. And I think, I'd, at this point, I'd rather go faster. I am going to make sure I'm doing this. I'm actually going to 
I'm going to use that crash beam. Crash beam, crash beam, crash beam. Okay. So go here. Okay. Oh, right. Didn't... You died. Okay. So this is useful. This is useful. Okay, now. Let's just say... You go... There. Grab this. And we pop down here. And open this up to see what sweet, sweet stuff we got. Awesome. And then we pop the uh, gun and get out of there. Okay. Okay, there we go. All sorted. Not the fastest ship, mind you. 28 seconds. But we got there. And this is being recorded later at night than I normally would. And, oh, it's been a long day. Been a long day. Okay. Probably won't do the one from uh, the end of the Norway trip today. Instead, I'll just get yesterday's video up as well. Okay, explosives uh, and target fleas. Target fleas is a really convenient one, right? Oh wait, let's just double check what we got over here. So, the target's there, we could definitely swap in, but I'm worried then I will just fail. There's our telepad, so potentially we steal a key, we get to the telepad, we put down a convenient glitch trap, or, well we don't do that, and we just use the extreme key cloner, we use the key cloner and the extreme telly to get in nice and close and if we set off the alarm then our targets running toward us oh, okay so okay let's see what can I do here so getting to that is actually pretty straightforward. Um, we just need to get around. I'm just trying to work out. Yeah, no, I'm not going to get close enough, am I? If so, if I get to here. So I could definitely get just that little bit closer. That lets me skip one long section. Let's do this. Let's do that. I think it's worth it. It's so, it's quite a detour, right? So we are gonna bash you and do that. Gives us the increased distance and get closer. Pop in and out. Okay, let's see. We will grab that one. We're going to go down this way. I mean, basically, I don't see much point in trying to fight them all here. Okay, let's see. Um, if we... Let's see. I guess well, we've got to go down this way. But I do just want your stuff. So what can I do? Is there a way of getting through? No, this is a point where I'm like, maybe I should have saved that key cloner. Because I ideally want this stuff as well. But that's just going to take too long. And no one's going to come close enough. Alright, let's see. I'm going to go this way. Windows, stop trying to tell me about an update. I don't care about your stupid update. Alright, let's do this. To pop in. We're gonna do a bit of this. 
because setting off the alarm is a great plan. Although, frankly, I'm not sure that we will end up setting off the alarm. Yes, we will. Excellent. Okay, and then... I bet, though, he's going up. Okay, wait, I can steal you. Okay, so we're gonna go stab, biff, and then that. Damn it. Okay, we're gonna throw this this way then pick it back up and then drop it down this way give me this okay great all sorted so we just now pop it I'll take the shield not that it should be relevant remote our pod now and then we just pop through. So this should be pretty straightforward, pickup wise. There we go. And uh, yeah, done. So not not doing much in the way of insightful commentary. Just kind of talking through my my thought processes. It's uh, like I said, it's been a long day, but I want to get it done. And I want to make sure I do well. Okay, so got the emergency shield. And now, uh, yeah, we're just gonna... Alright, what do we get? We got everyone having permanent shielding. Suddenly this gets a lot more difficult. Okay. Uh, reinforcements as well. So that's even better. Alright, let's see. So, do we at least have a high sec entrance? Yes. But yeah, maybe I should get. Oh no. Well, actually, given what he had, maybe I actually should have just uh, teleported in from space. But actually, the capture aspect of that makes that more difficult. Okay. So one option here is, especially given this guy is both a jerk and there aren't any better, closer people, is we pop in, we use the crash beam, um, and we glitch trap people. Uh, yeah, okay, right. So, I'm gonna pop here, remote, stop remote. So now, I'm going to whoop, whoop, throw this. Then, I'm gonna deploy it, and I wanna deploy it to about here. Really? Oh, you son of a... So, we throw this, pick it up, deploy it to, say, there. There we go. Then we do this. And we still fail to do what I was hoping to do, but that's okay. Crash, crash, and then shoot you, uh, stab you, throw at you. Get that key. And then you are about to shoot. And I'll take 
this, thank you very much. Oh, wow. That uh, defender. So glad that his radius was not enough to mess me over there. Whew. That could have been quite awkward. Okay, so where do we need to get to? Right. Oh yeah, you're all shielded. Um, ba 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 ba. I guess I'm just gonna dump you into space. Yeah, yeah, that seems reasonable. Uh, okay, do I dump all of you into space? Wait, I can key clone here. In which case, let's get down here. And then we can dump the next lot into space instead. Much better. Okay, so if I disable this, I can hopefully get something useful from here, which is why I'm considering that. Uh, deactivate. Let's see. I've got two more crash beams. Do I want to try and do that? Because what I could do is I could crash beam. Um, but bugger. Sorry. That is definitely not what I wanted to do. Alright, so what I could do... So I could definitely get in one crash beam this pair and then a glitch trap say there. Or I could get both, I, I could get uh, this guy in a glitch trap and maybe the next one in a glitch trap and then just try and get in. Hmm. So if I pop down this way I'm thinking I'm gonna try and beam it and then save the glitch trap. So what I want to do then is I think I want to stab. Because stabbing doesn't have the same um, range to it, right? So shoot you. Take your gun. Which I guess is this one? Nope. Definitely not. Shoot you. And then I can do the same thing except with the glitch trap on you. Glitch trap you there. Thank you. And there we go. In through the guards. Minimal use of resources. Sidewinder. Okay. Oh, we definitely don't need that no more. Okay, so we can sidewind to here. Run down, steal your key, go down here. You're the capture target. I need to make sure I get you. Okay, so if we sidewind to here. Oh yeah, of course we can't sidewind to that. Um, so we'll just sidewind this way. I think I want to save... What I want to do is I want to be able to... Uh, sidewind to here. And then glitch my target, which is this one. And then crash and get out. So I want to save both of my remaining sidewinder charges if at all possible steel which probably means i'm going to need to do some nice throwing yeah definitely some good throwing that'll work okay good throw will do it so what we need is we need to make sure that when we throw We're throwing something we don't care about too much. It's not going to go off. Uh, we're throwing it in a fairly simple way, right? So we throw this. And everyone's looking down. Perfect. I'll take that back now. 
Okay. Even better, mate. Uh, now I can steal your key. Perfect. Okay. So then we sidewind to here. We pull the stab trick. Wait, we pull the conch hammer trick to get you out of the way. We pull the stab trick to get you close enough. We pull the glitch trick to get you both down there because I don't care about the fate of your friend. And then we pop over here and we shoot our gun. Okay, sure. For a moment there, I thought they got us. I was like, oh no. I did not want to be got. Are you kidding me? That's going around the target, mate? And there we go. So I probably should have at some point remembered and uh, moved my pod down, but that's fine. That all worked out pretty well. So it's about a minute 30. Overall, about 30 seconds per ship, a little under. And uh, that gives us a final position of second. Just behind Matt SN. And I had some bad ducks today, and I def definitely, for example, could have spent some of that time I was running around to position my ship for pickup. So that really feels like uh, a sh ship... The uh, not a ship, a daily that where I came second because of uh, stuff around the margins. I'm kind of curious as to why others ended up going so slowly comparatively. But I guess I'll find out when the various videos go up by people. So that'll be good. See you next time.